Welcome to Let's Talk About It. I'm Sheena. And I'm Tamara. And today we are talking about how to propose to a woman. Ooh. On bended knee? Sure. Well, let's start with the first step. Okay, so we found an article which gives you five steps to proposing to a woman. So let's see if they actually know what they're talking about. So step number one is make sure that you're both ready for marriage. So very subtly you ask the woman you want to marry, hey, are you ready for marriage? And hope that she doesn't get an inkling that you're about to propose or at least plan a proposal, right? Okay, well, my problem with this question is that it's obviously written by someone who's not a lesbian. Because what's the first rule of lesbian club? <laughs> you all. <laughs> <laughs> marriage isn't so far off from it. <laughs> <laughs> now that marriage is legal in most of the world, right? For us, I suspect the U Haul is going to be replaced by the diamond ring. <laughs> diamond rings are so lovely. Yes. Right, so, <laughs> okay. So you need to ask yourself if you absolutely can't live without the school, and basically you need to establish that the both of you are ready for marriage. But you're right, it's very unlesbian of them. Okay. Okay, but in all seriousness, like I think this is a, an important step to take because I think some people are sometimes too quick to get married. Especially lesbians. Yeah. So make sure that you are both in it for the long haul and if you've been together two weeks, you're probably not ready. Is this why you wait, made me wait a year before you said yes? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Sheena is a lesbian through and through. Yeah, I want to do U-Haul pretty much like day one. Like lesbian theater day. I, I do. I do. But I never denied that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Then the next step, which seems a little bit odd, but the next step is to pick a ring. Okay. But that seems kind of like caught before the horse because I don't know about you, but I don't know if I'd want to spend all that money on a ring if she may say no. Well, the whole thing is that you're going to propose and you have the ring right there to give to her. I suppose. But what if she doesn't like the ring? Then go get your money back. Or go together and choose a ring. But the thing is, if you're together and you're ready to get married because you've established this, surely you should know more or less what she likes. It's Maybe true. start a Pinterest board where you're posting jewellery and you get her opinion on the jewellery and see if she likes it. That's true. Having said all of this, though, I pretty much just went out and bought you a ring. You did. I like my ring. Mm. Okay, so you get a ring, and you get a nice ring, and it's a pretty ring. The next step is to pick the right time. Three o'clock on a Thursday, that's the right time. <laughs> well, there we go. That's the, that's the answer right okay, there. So, no, but so number seriously. four, number four is pick the perfect location. So now it's three o'clock. The time has come. It's Thursday. You've finally hit the, the, the time. And you're sweating because you just don't know where to go to take her to, to propose, right? The zoo. So in front of the monkey cage. No, because they're about to steal it. Oh. Uh, okay. In front of flamingos. Lions. Why lions? Lions seem romantic. Well, I was going to go with flamingos because they're pink. And... Think about the Lion King and... The song, what was the song? In the jungle. No, the one where they're like very obviously you're gonna have sex, but it's a Disney movie, so you can't say that they're having sex. I don't know what Lion King movie you watched. <laughs> Did it have the word porn in it? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so basically they say you need to pick a private location. Don't embarrass your girl by proposing somewhere public like sporting events, big parties and that kind of thing. And the reason they say this is it puts a lot of pressure on the girl to say yes. Yeah, but there's nothing like a giant TV in a stadium where everyone's looking at it with your picture streamed onto it as you propose. I mean, what's the pressure on that? <laughs> so that's what I did wrong. It was all too private. I should have gone big. That would have made you say yes. <laughs> okay. Lions, I'm telling you lions. <laughs> wait, wait, what is with you and lions? An African baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then the fifth step is ask the right way. So be simple. Tell her how lucky you are that you found her, all that sort of stuff. Be creative. Be honest and don't overdo it. So now you have to... Wow, this is a lot of pressure on the asking person because you have to be creative and honest 
and some pool and not overdo it. So you have to go like this. Baby, I love you. Mary B. Okay. See? Simple, romantic, hole in one. This is very romantic. <laughs> You're so easy. <laughs> I love you. So that's ladies and some boys is how you ask a girl to marry you. Yeah, I think there's some valid points in that. I do, and and I think some of them are hilarious, but I think they, you know they all come from a sensible place. You shouldn't get married unless you're ready to get married, and both of you are ready to get married. And something that they left out is I think you have to have a lot of very deep conversations before you do so, like where do you stand on children, where you live, your career priorities. The poor children, why would you stand on them? <laughs> Like if you're gonna if you're gonna place. stand on children, then where would you want to do that anyway? I mean, <laughs> somewhere soft so the poor child doesn't die. I think it will like rape stamping. This is obviously a conversation we did not have before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> I understand why people struggle to learn English with things like where you stand on children. <laughs> Like, can you imagine trying to learn the language and somebody says where you stand on children? Like, why would I stand on a child? Monster. Indeed. All right, so. So make sure you're that you're. preaching about stuff, so. Hallelujah, sister. I'm just saying, I'm not preaching. I'm just no, saying. No, definitely preaching. Going make on. sure <laughs> that you both have the same expectations of the relationship. Mm hmm. And marriage is a partnership. You know, it's something that's not always easy. So if the relationship isn't, like, fantastic to begin with, it's not mm. going to get better with marriage. Make pancakes. Yes, make pancakes, make chocolate muffins. And try not to stand on the children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Sheena. And I'm Tamara. And as you can hear, we are a married couple. Mm-hmm. And we try very hard not to stand on our children. And they bark at us if we do. Shame, it's true, they do. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go, and you should too, but just before you go... <laughs> you should too? Where? Where should they go? They should go subscribe. They should, they should go subscribe. There we go. On iTunes, specifically, because it helps us move up the charts. And up the charts is good. It's like a pool Down skirt. It's good. always good. Well, going down is, is good sometimes. Not on the Apple charts. So, <laughs> go do that. And then join us on our Facebook group at the Lesbian Talk Show chat group. And email us on podcast at thelesbiantalkshow.com and tell me what you want us to talk about. So, tell us. Thanks for listening. Yes. I'm Sheena. And I'm Tamara. Did we say that already? I think we may have. <laughs> tell me a thing. We repeat it that a lot. <laughs> But just so people can know that I am Sheena and you are tomorrow. And he's Rob. Hey, Rob. Is Rob our imaginary friend? He's right there. Mm, you're creepy sometimes. <laughs>